Hello, in this quick tutorial, we're going to look at how to buy swap tokens on uh, Binance Smart Chain, specifically on PancakeSwap, which is sort of the BSC equivalent to Uniswap in the Ethereum world. These are two totally separate worlds, so to speak, so it is a different process uh, if you're not used to transacting on Binance Smart Chain or PancakeSwap. So the easiest place to start is here on the homepage for Swap. So you'll see these two buttons now, Get Tokens, and you'll see the Binance icon and the Get Tokens with Uniswap. So clicking here will take you to Uniswap to buy or sell tokens, and this will take you to PancakeSwap, which is on Binance Smart Chain. So it's easiest to sort of imagine that the swap tokens are sort of two different tokens, even though they're, they're the same tokens, two different contract addresses, the same supply, um, because when you move the tokens between worlds, which will be happening soon when the bridge comes out, is that you'll be burning tokens when you leave Ethereum and minting them in Binance Smart Chain world or vice versa if you're moving them back to the other world. So in order to get the Binance version of swap tokens, we would first click here and that will open PancakeSwap in the exact screen uh, where you would be trading, you know, BNB or any other Binance Smart Chain compatible token with getting the swap tokens in exchange. And you'll see that this is now the contract address for swap in the Binance Smart Chain world. Um, you could also copy and paste this into the field, wait a few seconds for Pancake to think, and then it will populate a swap token here. So what snapped open is um, MetaMask asking me if I wanna switch the networks from the Ethereum profile to what I have named Binance Smart Chain. So if you have set up a new profile for Binance Smart Chain already in your MetaMask, you'll see this because I have it already. But for those of you who don't have it, we will now show that process. Uh, so what you'll see here is if I click switch, it switched from Ethereum, which is right here, to another profile that I have created, a custom profile or custom RPC is what it's called here, and I've just named it Binance Smart Chain. So the question for newbies is how do you create this Binance Smart Chain profile in your MetaMask? So what you would do if you don't have that in there is you would simply snap open MetaMask, and you can be on any website doing this because you're just working in MetaMask now, is you would click up here for your profiles and switch from most likely you'll be in Ethereum to this custom RPC right here. So you'll see that you'll need some information to set this up the first time. So in uh, the description in the video here, you'll see a link to this, which is connecting MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. This is a nice tutorial that Binance put together. And the thing that we need here is that information. Uh, so here you go, you'll see mainnet and testnet. We wanna be on mainnet and it's giving you a recommended name. I called it Binance Smart Chain. They call it Smart Chain. Um, and it's got some other details here. So if I were to try and set this up for the first time, I'd stay on this page or have it on different screens so I can see both at the same time. Uh, and the tricky part is that if you click away from this, you'll lose all this information and have to start over. So what I do is just copy the longest thing that's the most painful to type in manually. And let's say I wanna call this Binance Smart Chain as my profile. I'm gonna paste what I had just copied right there and I'm not clicking away because remember it's gonna close. My chain ID would be 56. The currency symbol is BNB instead of ETH because remember we're in the Binance world so your gas fees are gonna be in BNB instead of ETH. And now this block explorer URL, which looks like it's gonna be this, bsc.scan.com. So once you have this filled out, you'd cl simply click save. And I can't do that again because I already have set this up. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Once you've set that up, you can then choose BSC or Binance Smart Chain. And I'm just gonna go back here. So then you would see it like this. So whatever you name it, is what it's gonna be called right here. So then once you have that set up, you will be in this um, Binance Smart Chain world, so to speak, or profile as your active profile in MetaMask. So a common question is, do you need a totally separate MetaMask wallet or not? And what the answer is, is it could be the same. So if you wanna keep things totally separate between these two things, you could create a separate wallet. Um, I have here, 
but you don't have to do it that way. You can literally use the same wallet. The only thing to realize is that if you're in the Binance world, you'll only see BNB here. You'll only see your Binance compatible tokens. Um, and then when you switch to Ethereum, you'll see your Ethereum compatible tokens and ETH here as your primary token slash form of gas uh, instead of BNB. So now I'm in my Binance version and my wallet that I have, my BNB, I'm a little bit in here. So once you've set that up, you can come back to Pancake here. And if I were just to click reload, it will scan my Binance wallet to double check. I'm in Binance Smart Chain profile. And now instead of it showing nothing here, you'll see that I have a little bit of BNB in my wallet. And I have uh, not many, but some swap tokens that I purchased on here a few days ago just to test this out. Um, so let's say I want to purchase a small amount like 0 0.005 or something like that. Um, you'll click out of there and it will take a few seconds to think. So just if you don't see anything happen, don't panic. It's just the website thinking. And that could take up to like, you know, five to 10 seconds sometimes. So be patient. Once it updates, um, since I've traded already, it just says swap right here. But the first time you'll have to click approve, it will snap open your wallet and it'll just have you approve it. I believe that transaction is free or like 20 cents. So that just has to sync the system one time. And then every time you come here to trade with a particular pair thereafter, you'll see it just go right to swap. So if I were to click swap, it's going to say, here's what's going to happen. Now, before I do that, you do need to set your slippage tolerance. And this basically means how tight of a trade are you willing to tolerate or not tolerate? So the default, I think they have it at 0.5%. You can try and make that lower, but because this is a newer pair, you may have to increase this slippage tolerance in order for it to go through. Do make sure it's not some crazy high number like you would have with Safe Moon or other tokens that are using uh, their smart contract. Um, so the 0.5%, you know, should be fine. So let's say I want to trade this very small amount of BNB for 90 swap tokens to buy. I'd click swap, it's giving me the rundown. I say, okay. And now just like in Uniswap, it will snap open MetaMask, but now see we're working in the Binance Smart Chain world. You'll see Binance Smart Chain, you'll see the website you're on, and you'll see that this gas fee is a very small, very small, uh, it's super tiny. Um, so I'm going to click confirm and it's going to think it's submitted. And if you don't have this new version of swap token in your wallet, you can click here. It will add it to your wallet and there we go. So I didn't click this because I already have my wallet. But what I wanted to show is that this screen popped up and this window is telling us that it's already done. And if we want to view the receipt on the equivalent of Etherscan, which in Binance world is called BSC scan, like Binance Smart Chain scan, we can click there. You'll see that it looks very, very similar to Etherscan. And I received the tokens and my transaction fee was only 42 cents. So if this would normally cost today, you know, 20, 30, $40 or more in gas on the Ethereum equivalent here in Binance Smart Chain world, it's only, you know, 30, 20, 30, 40 cents, less than a dollar to buy and sell. So really cool. And um, really the only other thing that you might need help with is something very basic, which is how do you get BNB in your wallet in your Binance compatible wallet to begin with? So for those of you that are already familiar with, you know, transacting in the Binance Smart Chain world, that's very easy and obvious. You probably got tons of BNB already or you know how to get it. If you don't know how to get it or if you're new to this, um, there's a couple options. Uh, you could use uh, the Binance.org. So that's the bridge tool that is specifically for, you know, the more popular tokens. And it's taking a minute to come up here. So what that is, and there's actually a shortcut to it here. So you can click convert ERC to BEP20. So BEP20 is the Binance uh, Smart Chain compatible tokens and ERC20 is Ethereum tokens. So what this shortcut on Pancake brings us to is the bridge here, which came up faster this way. Um, so you could use this bridge tool to move, you know, USDC or some other token that you have already 
um, between Ethereum and Binance, but this screen or this website actually is only um, allowed for those outside the US. So it will tell you that, hey, we detect your IP is in the US and you can't use this tool. Um, we have heard that some users are using, you know, VPNs or other ways to get around that, but we're not here to tell you how to do that, to bend the rules. Um, so this is one option, um, the Binance Bridge for those outside the US. Another way to get Binance Smart Chain compatible tokens is to use the Binance uh, website. So Binance.com, again, for those outside the US, um, you can buy any number of tokens here. BNB is one of them. And the big difference between Binance.com, the international big site and the US only version is that in Binance.com, you can withdraw tokens into the Binance Smart Chain world. Whereas on the US version, you cannot export or withdraw tokens into the Binance Smart Chain world. Um, so if I were to withdraw here, I would be able to choose either the BNB version, Binance standard version of BNB, or you'll see here, I can choose the Binance Smart Chain version. So if I sent this BNB from the centralized exchange to my wallet, I would have the correct version, which is this. But do not, and I repeat, do not export regular BNB from Binance.us to your wallet because it could be lost forever because it's not the Binance Smart Chain version of that. I know that gets confusing, but just realize that regular BNB or I think they call it here, BEP2 is for Binance.us and Binance.com centralized exchanges only. If you are moving in BSC or Binance Smart Chain world, BEP20, that is what is compatible with Binance Smart Chain. So it's very important to only send Binance Smart Chain compatible tokens to your Binance Smart Chain compatible wallet because those two things are compatible with each other. This one is not. So I'll say it one more time a different way. If you are in Binance.us, you cannot, cannot, export or withdraw to Binance Smart Chain. You just absolutely cannot. You need to be on Binance.com or using the Binance Bridge. And both of those are for folks outside the US. Uh, we have heard that uh, Smart Wallet, uh, Trust Wallet, there's a couple that you can um, withdraw or move or convert into the Binance Smart Chain version of BNB. Um, so that might be a way to do it. And the key is that you want to get Binance Smart Chain version of BNB or any other to popular token, but usually BNB to start with into uh, whatever your wallet address is that's compatible and set up with the Binance Smart Chain um, profile in your MetaMask. So um, I know that's kind of a long winded way to explain this, uh, but the key is that, you know, if, if you, once you get those Binance Smart Chain compatible tokens, in this case BNB, to serve as your gas and to buy other tokens, trade them like for the new swap token on Binance Smart Chain. Um, it, it's pretty simple once you've got that in your Binance Smart Chain compatible wallet. So again, we'd set up the wallet, we'd come to swap.ee, we'd click this get tokens, uh, the version with the Binance logo on it. And it's gonna bring you directly to this page. If you're not already on the Binance Smart Chain profile, it'll ask you if you wanna switch. In this case, I'm already on it. It took about five, six, seven seconds, then it finally read my wallet. And then you can start trading, uh, buying, selling, um, doing all that. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, hit us up in the Telegram chat for Swap. Have a great day.